Hello, we are doing a little bit of messing around with Magic the Gathering. I have a new set of cards I want to show you guys. My phone is being a little weird. Here it is. I want to check and make sure I can be heard. Alright, and then let's go to the store and see if we can be heard. Cool. All right, and so those of you who've watched this before, cool. welcome back. First thing you always want to do in Magic the Gathering Arena, I mean, not always, but uh, first thing I usually do is check out the store if I haven't that day. Because they have free stuff. Um, and then other cool art if you want to spend some of the gold that you've earned in the time that you've been playing. So over here, the first one is the Daily Deals. We're down here, Daily Deals. I actually got the old school art. Uh, this is it's very old school, very nice. This is one of the classic swamps. I do like it, but um, I really don't think I want to spend 2,500. Alright, so we look at Vampire Noble, Dwarf Berserker, Werewolf, Enchantment, Werewolf. Okay, cool. I have I use her. I used to have a uh, brawl deck based on her. She's pretty cool. But I ha already have alternate art for her, so I don't need it. All right, white or red spells. Okay. So, as I mentioned at the start, I have a really cool, what I think cool, historic deck called Avalanche. It's dual themed so not the wisest life choice when it comes to magic you typically want one theme most people do um, landfall so anytime a land comes on to the playing field on my side it triggers something on my cards I also have tokens, which a lot of people do as well. So anytime tokens come onto my field, I generate more tokens or boosts stuff. Um, so I combine the two. Is it the wisest life choice? No, it's not a very good solid life choice, but it does make it fun. And the way you win can be different. It's crazy every time. So like here, I get a life every time I get a token on the field. Um, this is based on the number of creatures I control, which if I have a lot of tokens will be a lot. And then this is just a land grab. Alright, well, not the best starting hand, but I'm going to keep it. Unless you control a mountain or a forest, I will control a mountain, so I'll be fine. Fawn Fawn. Hope you guys are enjoying the new year and that it's treating you well. I like the little art on the bowl. Today, something in the air. All 
All right, so doubling season will be nice when I be able to put that out. It doubles all the it doubles whenever I would create more tokens. It makes twice of that, and if I ever make tokens on anything, it also makes twice of those. And it, this one has cool art, so the, the multi-headed Hydra Swan. I mean, goose. The Hydra Goose, which in some ways is more terrifying than the regular goose. All right, so I don't have any blues, so I'm going to bring this in so I can bring this in so I can bring in a blue. And I'll also be able to bring in my doubling season. So, right now, not a lot happening with my deck. I'm not getting the cards I need. So, we'll see. Alright, I need a blue, please. There we go. I have some snow cards as well. Again, snow can be a theme unto itself. Now I have a lizard, and he does damage to the other player each time the uh, a landfall. Man. This will do what? This will bring in tokens. I'm not doing any tokens. I'm not. I'm just doing damage. So I'll do this first anyway, just in case I'm missing something. And then I'll throw him in. And I'm not going to attack, so we're just going to pass the turn. have a board wipe on me. Let's see, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have a board wipe on me. Which is a shame. This is not a board wipe either. So I'm going to go ahead and cast this just so I can use up some of those work toward my daily goals and then we will call it because he clearly has me beat did not have a strong feeling about that particular duel because I just wasn't getting the cards I need. And that's the problem with these massive non-focused decks. 
is that a lot of times your card draw is not going to help you. Again, not a super card, not a super hand. Almost willing or uh, attempted to mulligan, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. We'll see what Rocky 83ZH. Atomic Hero Squad, happy Wednesday. Welcome, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Rogue Heroes, Runes of Tazos. Interesting, I'm not familiar with Rogue Heroes. I have to check that out. Go look at the stream. Cool. He was doing some... Was it Stardew Valley yesterday? Where you're the interior decorator? Alright, so I want to have... I don't really care about this yet. It destroys an enchantments. I do want my greens to come out soon. I'm going to throw this one out just because it's cool. Playing a new avalanche deck. It's co-op Zelda-like. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Playing it with Atomic Kiro mod. The twins at it again. Very cool. Yeah, we're doing a new landfall slash token deck slash snow deck very unfocused but it has been doing pretty well it has like a 60% win rate which is decent so I can upgrade this to level 2 which lets me play an extra land I don't have a lot of extra land so I don't really care about that yet but then I can get to level 3. Better than a coin flip. That's right. 60%. I don't have anything. Any, so proliferate just means any plus 1 plus 1 tokens you have. Or planeswalker loyalty tokens you have. You can increase by 1. I don't have any of those out just right now. So The proliferate action is not going to help me. I also don't have any planes, so I need some planes. Well, he paid two life, so that one would presume he's going to do something with those two mana, since he paid two life to have it come in untapped. And you can click his ring. Wee. Spinny, spinny. My pet is also interactive, so if you click his leg, he shakes it. You can click his arm. He's like, what? And then he sort of clenches his fist, uh, pulls it back on. You click his head, and it'll spin. He grabs it, sticks it back on. And then, if you click him a bunch of times, he explodes. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we explode. Alright, it's nice to get another land, but it doesn't help because I need. I'm going to bring him in. Yeah, so he messed up. He paid two, two life, but didn't use it, so. Not sure what the point of that is. Anyway, I brought him in because even though his landfall doesn't do anything. Because I don't have anything to proliferate. It's still a creature on the field. He doesn't have anything to protect him. So I can still be plinking at him. Doing damage every turn. If he doesn't bring anything out. So he's also playing black. So. Probably a black and white deck. Would be my guess. Um, so he could just kill it. And that's uh, not a big deal. I'd rather him kill that. Than my queen. So. Queen Alanal of 
ครัวดักอะไรอะมาลียเบนาวิเลสอากิเร Vampire Scout. Whenever you play Game Knife, she explores, and destroy all the creatures of its powers exactly twenty. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we have a. She is not an enchantment or a thing. Let's go ahead and get him up. I don't want to play an additional land this turn, but I do want to play one. And that's gonna be. I'm not going to attack. Uh, actually, I am going to attack because my person, Amalia Benavides Aguirre, is pretty powerful, and if he wants to sacrifice her, I'm all for it. My evolution sage ain't all that, so we'll see if he's gonna take the damage or sacrifice this very powerful creature. He took the damage. Wise choice, dude. I guess you could have a female Rocky, so I don't want to presume. Yeah, this Palantir seems to be. I think I'm gonna start adding that to some of my decks. I wrote it down and then forgot. I'm taking a life. So it. Uh, come on, man. Oh, wait, that's an artifact. Yeah, let's kill that artifact, man. Kill the artifact, kill the artifact. Nice. I get a treasure token. Alright, so do I want to bring in a. Oh, well, let me bring in a planes. No, it does not. Boo. Well, this is just forest cards, so that's not going to help. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. I'll be able to gain life. Island, swamp, mountain. I don't have a swamp right now, so I, I don't use swamp, actually. Island or mountain. I don't have an island, so I'll go ahead and bring in my islands. Yes, yeah, so these are my nice, cool little uh, lands. I like them. Now I'm attacking for six. I mean for three. Bam! Three to the face. I'm gonna end the turn. Destroy an enchantment. Yes. So my enchantment is just virtue of persistence. Told you he's black, so he's gonna kill things. Yep. So explore simply means that you look at the top, you expose the top card of your library. If it's a land, you drop it in your hand. Otherwise, you put a plus one, plus one counter. And you can either then put it back on top, or you can discard it. So, oh, I waited on me. Didn't even know you were waiting on me, sorry. It's a cordial vampire, so are they gonna put put it back or put it in their land, in their graveyard? Looks like she's putting it back. I need some planes, man, or another treasure. There we go. Awesome. I am a camper who is happy. Now I can throw her out. She's not super game breaky, but she's pretty cool. And now I'm going to make another land. Another creature, which I think will then boost her. Uh, let's go with the goat. Could have gone with the fox. Or the swan. But I went with the goat. Where'd my swan go, man? Yep, 
Yep, it did count the feature, so that's awesome for us to do Did he kill my swan? No. I just want to brought an island in there for this one. Did I mess up? No blocks. Forerunner of the legend. Forerunner of the legend enters the battlefield. Search the library of man by card. Okay. Drana is, is a tough. She's tough. Tokens have plus one, plus one in vigilance. Nice. Let me throw this out. And then I'll get a couple lands. That was probably a mistake, but I'm getting a. With Drana. It's pretty much the end of the game. I, I don't. I can't really do a whole lot. We will pass the turn. Well, no. Let's see. I could have blocked with my five. Why didn't I block with my five? I don't understand. Whenever another vampire target creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of the turn, I'm just going to let it go. Pass the turn. I like the art on this, it's pretty cool. If I need to, I can throw more lands on just to boost my mountain, but, um, Radiant Destiny. Alright, alright, so we didn't attack with them. You are an enchantment, so I'm going to destroy it. Cause I can. Alright, so just to make sure he doesn't kill my dude, I'm going to go ahead and throw out that. And then we will attack with my land. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe he thought the was better than his other vampire, but I don't think so. I would rather have more creatures sometimes. We'll see. We'll see what he does. Now he's going to have to block my queen. Oh, nice. Beautiful. See, now, boom, now he's dead. <laughs> because, oh, this is nice. So, I win the game. Good game, my friend. Because, unless he's got something hidden, he does have some unused mana. Oh, dur. Or he could just do basic, he could just know basic math. But I am going to do this. Watch this. Well, bam, he loses a life. Well, bam, he loses a life. Good game. Thank you, good game. Are you giving up? is giving up. All right.
Victory! Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Whoa, what's up with my stream elements, man? Sound alerts. It says sound alerts refresh. That's weird. All right. Anyway, so now we we did seven red and white spells that time. Got a little packy pack from Frixia. All will be one. Arc Fiend of the Dross. A Frixian demon, sort of a. redundant there. Alright, so yeah, so I have my new rat deck uh, and my new, ooh, I'm gonna get a new raptor pet here when I go up to the next level. Sun favorite rapper, cool. I have a green one right now. So yeah, so some of the new historic decks, if you haven't seen them, I have a rat deck, which is fun. All rats. Gobs of gobs, those are my two newer ones. And my old school ones are my Fs, my green Fs, Sliver Me Timbers, Shriners, and of course, my favorite of all time, Dragons. And we'll definitely do some more Dragons later. Avalanche, try them again. We are going to be doing some prep for tonight's game and tomorrow night's game, so. Let's destroy Scoot Swarm. Alright, so Scoot Swarm is game winner all by itself so we will keep it basically it makes it lets me make creatures gain two life please thank you lets me make creatures every time I bring in a land and then if I have six or more lands it makes another scoot swarm so you can do the math if I have two scoot swarms I bring in two more scoot swarms so I now have four who we'll bring in four more so I now have eight and it just gets insane all right let's bring in the uh, restless pup 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 prairie cool thing about him is when I have four lands I can bring him in as a llama that's right, you heard me. As a llama. It becomes a llama creature. 3-3 three, three, white llama creature. Alright, let's get my scoot swarm in there first. Then we'll drop my land in there. See, and now because... All my creature tokens have plus one, plus one, and vigilance. And then when my axe, whenever a land enters the battlefield, that creature gets plus two, plus two at the end of the turn. So when he comes in, he is automatic, uh, automatically attached to a creature. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him on him. And he quit. Wow. See, so today I've already lost one, one, two. Boom. All 
Alright, so let's see if we can make it three in a row. Time for a little quote action. And let's see if we can get a uh, follow age on atomic. It was not working for a little while, but anybody can type this in for anybody else Go or yourself. Yeah, they changed it. It used to be three years, three months, f 14 days, nine minutes, 23 seconds. It was down to the second. And now they changed the command to where it's just years and months. Makes me sad, but that's all right. All right, so Nisa, Resurgent, Landfall. She adds a mana, which is great. Premium Primeval Bounty is amazing if I can get up to six. This counts as a land. This will let me... Um, pull a land out. So even though I'm only starting with two, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Yeah, those poor halflings. Diablo Bob and his... Twisted sense of humor. It's alright, I have similar humor. Alright, so he has 120... He has 130 cards to my 240 cards. Alright, so I need... I have a green. We're going to bring in our terrarium. Since I already have a green, we'll go ahead and throw in a red. Throw in the terrarium. And when it comes in, I get to search my card for a library. I'm search my library for a card. Um, I am going to... Yeah, I think we can go with the white. Take that action. I could go with blue, but I think we can go with the white just because I have more white cards. And he'll come in as a blue, so... I think it messed up on me last time, so I've got to be careful. Click. There we go. Alright. So he has, when I discard cards, that's what this does, then a bunch of stuff happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw down my planes. Schmack. So this lets me proliferate again, which I don't have any plus one, plus one tokens. Or loyalty counters for planeswalkers, so I don't care. So we're going to throw my Nisa. Nisa instead. Like I said, she gives me mana when land comes in. And then if it happens again... Let's see, up to one artifact, enchantment, or tap creature destroyed. Do I want to, do I care about this? When an opponent discards a card. Boo. Well, it took two cards, but he did kill my, oh, he didn't, never mind. Ah, he made it so I wouldn't block him. That's fine. No blocks. Do your two damage. All right, so. This will let me bring in a nothing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. It comes in tapped, but she will give me a green. Paired with this one will let me fetch two more lands. Up to two basic forest cards. One. Two. With my little foxes. I 
All right, and then I can sacrifice him. I am going to do it. To put a plus one, plus one on her. And she's going to attack. So since he has a lot of black cards and black mana and red, uh, he, he does a lot of damage and a lot of kill spells. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I waited because this one is much worse than this one. Alright. So many choices. So we're going to find... So the second time, reveal cards on top of the library until we reveal an elf or an elemental. Put that card in my hand. So we're going to do that one. I'm going to drop him in. Give me a white, please. So now I have two white cards, so I can do my slash to kill his enchantment. Alright, I have blue, white, and red, and green. So I'm good. I just... I have everything I want. I think I'm just going to go with green, just because I have more greens than everything else. Land. Oh, it won't let me. Plains or Island. Alright, so let's do Plains then. And now she reacts. I want a green this time. It pulls out another Evolution Sage. Excellent. So now the Evolution Sages will actually do stuff because I have plus one plus one counters. We're going to destroy his Raid Bombardment. And then we're going to throw out our Evolution Sage. And we're going to attack. Rat boy who has um, menace. He did not attack. Okay. As he comes in, you choose a color and add one of that color. Comes in tapped. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four, five, five. I'm going to drop one, which will give me six. So I can put him in. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 3-3 three, three green beast token. And whenever a non-caster spell, put three tokens on the creature. Whenever a battlefield... Okay, so we definitely want Primeval Bounty out. Drop him in. Proliferates. So she now gets a plus two. I'm going to add a green. And I'm now going to add Primeval Bounty. Alright, so I am not going to attack just because he might get a wild hair. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to attack with a sage. Because I have another one. I'm willing to kill one of his creatures. He didn't, so he took the three damage to find by me. So I can't block either one of those. So that's fine. Alright, now. Stuff's gonna get real. Throw him down. Make a beast token. Boom. Now, we throw down our other forest. Bunch of stuff's gonna happen. Let's see? Landfall. Submit one. Submit one. I have two evolution sages. Uh, now it doesn't matter which one I get, so I'm going to get black just because. And now we go to combat. So now I have a 7-7. Seven, seven. These two are going to attack. What does he do? Discard him. Deals four damage to attacking or blocking creature. Nice. So when he attacks me, I can kill his road captain. And I will. Ooh, she's tough.
All right, so she he can block one of them. I'm just gonna drop him in. So um, instead of just killing him, like I, I normally preach, target a creature I control, boom. I'm doing this because I need this for my daily um, goals as white cards. So I went ahead and cast that white card to do it. Um, well, I'm surprised he quit because normally if you're going to quit, you would quit as soon as you knew you were dead, which is was last turn. Hey, at least he let me cast my white cards. And I t went up to the gold tier 1. Which is nice. But the problem is I'm now fighting more powerful creatures. See, so I I've only done 10. For the, uh, for the day. Only got 3 whites on that one. Alright, so let's focus a little bit. Get these red and white cards out of the way. Go to our standard rank. We have our hasteness, which is red, and we have our cat equip deck, which is our cat deck, which is white. Um, we have what the fricks, but that's black and white. So we'll go ahead and go with our cat. So they are not. This is not as strong as my haste deck. It relies a lot on luck. If I draw the right series of cards, then it's it's really cool. Ooh, I'm another Ajani. That's not very often that we both have the same avatar. Alright, so let's go ahead. I don't have any creatures, so we'll be waiting. This deck is built around cats and artifacts. I have a lot of creatures, cats, that are that do things when equipment is attached to them so like him so whenever him he or another cat comes on to the field I can attach an equipment to that cat so we're gonna go ahead and take this one give me plus one plus one and vigilance Throw down my planes. Pass the turn. So it costs two to equip. He'll have a plus two to attack, so he'll be a six four. I'm gonna throw him on there, which is gonna be protection from blue and black. A pugnacious hammer skull. Let's get rid of his creature, shall we? Seal from existence, exile, non land permanent. This one. They can't block or attack. And it lets me scry too, so I'm going to do this one instead. Put his pugnacious hammer skull in jail. Let me look at the top two cards. Perfect. Let me bring him in. I really don't need another land right this moment, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that to the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and attack. Four damage to the face hole. And the turn. So 
next turn, he costs three. I'll have five. So, I can't do both. I could attach this to him for free. Uh-oh. He killed me. He killed me. Target creature control deals damage equal to twice his power to target creature. Wow. That's a good one. Animus might. I, I'm, I'm writing that down. I forgot to add the Palantar to my card. That's nice. I like that. I'm going to add it. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop this down. Alright, so I can only do one of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and bring in my cat. He has ward two, which means it's going to cost him two extra if he's going to try another sneaky spell like that. And then I'm going to add this axe to him. Why? Because it costs two. This one only costs one. So I can do a higher cost spell and still add the halberd to him. Plus, he gets a plus one, plus one for each equipment attached to him. So that's why he is now a 6-3. I do not... I will not uh, sacrifice him for the to kill the dinosaur. So, oh, nice, well played, sir, well played. I'll just have to seal him from existence. All right, what does he do? Nothing I care about. I don't have any plane walkers right now. Alright, here we go. Six. Perfect. Now I can do two. So, let's go ahead and get rid of him. And I am just going to attach this to him because that gives him more. And vigilance. So I can attack without tapping and still defend. He can also boost his raptor. He's going to have to pay an extra three. And it costs him one to do it. So he can't kill the seal from existence yet. And boosting him costs three, so he can't boost him either. So if he attacks, I'm just gonna let him through because he does. Ah, nice, he did the equipment instead. Good call, my friend. Good call. Alright, so this is protection from blue and black. Doesn't help. But I get a plus two, plus two. He's down to one, baby. Alright. You may cast an instant or sorcery spell without paying its costs. From my graveyard. I don't have one. But uh, I'll go ahead and bring leave these the way they are. I don't need another planes. So I'll throw him into the graveyard. Alright, so the question is, can he do three extra damage? He can. Good call. Good game. Well done, sir. Well done. That was a, a close one.
I applaud you, though I can't hear it. But I cast a lot of white spells, and that's the point. Maybe not a lot, but I cast some. Fifteen. Alright. So, now, I need five. I think I'm going to do my brawl. Let's go to a brawl, shall we? Find a match. We'll do my hobbit. My uh, Frodo deck. Go to brawl. And go to... Where's historic brawl? What? What happened to historic brawl? My historic brawl deck is gone too. Do they get rid of historic brawl? What? Boo, they got rid of historic brawl. Well, that makes me sad. They have all these other weird crap things that I don't ever do. Boo. Timeless Explorer bot. Well, I know what a bot match is, but Timeless and Explorer. Uh, I don't even know what they are. Alchemy I never do. That's uh, That's so sad. So sad, so sad. Historic, Explorer, Timeless, I don't know what those are. I mean, Explorer and Timeless, I don't know. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll do our haste deck then. I need reds. This, my red deck is all about fast. Um, hitting them right away, killing them really quick. Don't have a lot of mana, but with this one, I don't need a lot. And so you guys heard me talk about Evolving Wilds. Fabled Passage is the way to go if you're going to do it, but can't do Fabled Passage because this is a standard deck and Fabled Passage is historic. So. Little punch to the face, two damage. Kept it on top, okay. He has a so let's go ahead and kill him as dead. Deals one damage to target. And we'll go ahead and bring in our Ronin again. He plays, he's playing a black deck, so he's probably got a lot of kill spells. We will see if I can outlast his kill spells with my hastiness. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my ginger boy. Let's try to draw his kill spells. So the ginger boy, ginger, Sir Ginger, the meal and uh, attacking with a Grow fork. If he had ever gets planeswalker, he's more powerful. Good, he killed him instead. That's great. And then whenever I put an artifact from a graveyard into a graveyard from the battlefield, he gets a plus one plus one count. I can also gain life equal to his power when I sacrifice him. So I don't care that he did that. Let's see, this is an artifact. This lets me destroy an artifact. I bring him in. It deals four damage to a target battle or an opponent. One damage to another creature. So we're going to wait on that. We're going to go ahead and bring him in for one. 
he will then, he has prowess, so if I cast something that's not a creature spell, he gets a plus one. So I'm going to destroy his artifact. He gets a bonus. I then bring him in to do another two. Four damage to the face. Moving on. Next turn, I'll bring in my invasion and do four damage to it, which is nice. Which is nice. Alright, so I won't. But that's okay. This one does creature or planeswalker. Okay. So I have four. Let's go ahead and go. Or opponent do four damage to his face. Submit zero, sadly. And we're gonna bring him in. I'm not gonna attack the battle, I'm just going to attack him and just try to kill him. Nice, that's a good, good card, good card. All right, so. I have four in play. If I bring in my chick. He'll do one, but he has three. So I'm gonna bring him in. He does three damage. I will take the five. Unless I discard a card. You know what? I'm just going to discard this guy. Next to combat. He's down to two life. So next turn, unless he saves a kill spell, I'll be able to kill him. Possibly. With... Can I boost him? Oh, I can't boost him. Okay. Very nice. Good job, good job. Uh, can I kill him? I can kill him. To creature or planeswalker. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's go ahead and... Bring him in. We're gonna resolve this. Take the damage. Do I want to give him another turn? I'm also going to bring him in. Take the damage. And I attack with both. So he has to block my Ronin or he dies. And then I will kill his creature. Take the life. All right, buddy, you gotta kill my birdie. Nice, he did. All right, so that's good, that's it. I'm gonna wait. Pass the turn. I'm going to decline, because I don't have any creatures to sacrifice. This is a mountain. Doesn't do me any good to have him, so I'll throw him down. Ooh, he may pull this out. He might. We'll see. I don't have any zappy zappy spells in this because I'm focusing on haste. So we'll see. He killed just enough creatures to keep himself alive. Good job, man. Good job. Dang it. Come on. Really? <sighs> I have like six cards in my deck that will kill him. If I draw them out, so. Good 
Good job, man. Good job. Way to come back. Good game. And that finish my quest for the day. It did. And I got a new pet and a pack. So let's go see what we get in our pack. That's one of the things I like about this game is even though I didn't win, it still gives me rewards. A puzzle door. That's cool. I like that idea. I like this concept a lot. Because you can uh, incorporate that into D&D, &D, man. Or Starfinder. Starfinder would be better, I think. Very cool. It's like a Stargate. All right, so let's go to the decks, and I have Palantir and the Animus something. So let's go to our collection. See if I have these cards or not. And we're back. All right, so search for Palantir. It's going to be expensive if I don't own it. I do own it. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Good to know. Next, we have Animists. Anna. What does that mean? I haven't seen that before. There it is, Animus Might. It is a... Alright, so that's going to go in my green deck. So we'll go ahead and craft it while we're here. Craft. I only have 202 wild cards. Now 201. Now 200. Alright, so we go back to the decks. We go to our greeny. One of my faves. And I know which I know which card I'm going to get rid of to this one. Nope. Um Where to go, where to go? So this one, tandem takedown. Because this pretty much will do the same thing, but I don't have to have two creatures. So let's find our Animus. Add those in. My 
my good old Nissa. Alright, so I have 91 cards in here. See if I can. If there's anything in here I really want to get rid of. Um. Especially these higher level cards. I like this one because it lets me forest cycle. So I can kill it from my hand for two. And then it brings in a mountain. I mean a forest. Whoosh. So I like that. Um... This spell doesn't cost that much, even though it looks like it does. The oddity is nice. At the beginning of pre-combat phase, add two, which is nice. Grafted growth. Not only puts a plus one plus encounter on a creature but it also lets me add two of any color the lantern is nice because it lets me explore fang is nice because he's death touch and it's just cheap it's just a one this lets me search for lands I mean I'm not finding a whole lot I'm willing to give up uh, let's see tough cookie I'm going to kill the top cookie. Taxidermis. Let's me add a mana, so that's good. She keeps going up. This lets me destroy creatures. This adds a mana, so that's great. Let's me fight creatures. Vine wall is a good defense. And let's me add a land. Yeah, this lets me add a land though. I mean as add a mana, so that's good. This gives my one of my critters plus two plus two. I so yeah, I'm I'm pretty much good. I'm good. What does this do? Yeah. The West Tree. She gives me more land. He gives me more land. Yeah, so I'm good. I'm good with this. It's a lot of cards. 90, but uh, it works. Alright, so I've got just enough time. So now we're just messing... Oh, I want to add a... The Palantir to several of my decks. Let's see. Historic Cluster definitely needs to have my Palantir. We will copy and paste so I don't have to type it out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Boink. It's a good card, man. It's a good, good card. I'm almost tempted to make another one, but I'm not... Alright, so the Palantir is a historic one, so I want it in my avalanche. My avalanche! Landfall slash swarm. I think I'll do that deck next. Palantir. There it is. I think I'm also going to add my Animus. Animus. To it. Because it's pretty kick butt. I already have too many cards in that deck anyway, so we're okay. Alright, now anybody else will add it to my dragons, and then, then I'm going to stop for now because I want to. don't have a lot of time left. I'm going to be leaving 14 minutes. 
I get squeeze one more jewel out of it. Palantir puts me up to 249. And I may as well do Animus. Boom. Done. All right, let's fight, 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 fight. Gotta do my dragons. Haven't done my dragons today, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Next thing is a mythic rare card. Nice. Go to historic ranked. Go to dragons. I'm pretty sad that they got rid of the historic brawl. That was, I wonder why. Maybe this wasn't uh, people playing or something? I don't know, but uh, I loved my Frodo deck. It was amazing. Amazing. May have to rebuild it as a standard because a lot of the cards in there were standard. Factory thing. Interesting. I do not have three lands. This is a great card, but I need another land. <sighs> I'm going to keep it. I really should mulligan because I only have two lands. But because of this prismatic omen, which makes all my lands, all types, I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. So now they're plains, islands, swamps, mountains, forest, everything. My friend, forbidden friendship. You're not allowed to be a friend with a... Whatever the hell it is, a dinosaur. Alright, so I have three. I can bring him in. Excellent. So let's go ahead. doesn't matter what we bring him in as. Because they're everything. This will give me two mana in any combination to cast dragon spells. So I'll be able to bring him in. But he killed me, so sad day. Rather rude if you ask me, but he didn't ask me, so. And creatures in my graveyard, okay? Oh, he didn't, he exiled. He exiled him? Wow, okay. So he was not in my graveyard. What did he do? Obliterating Bolt. Okay. So that screws me there. So I'll go ahead and bring him her in. I could cast my Animus Might, but uh, I think I'm going to wait. Is he an instant? It's a sorcery. All right. One, two, three, four. I need one more land. To bring in my army gala, which is amazing. There we go. Comes and tap though, so I can't cast it yet. Uh, do I want to kill? I'm gonna wait because I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. So we're just going to go past the turn. I don't want to kill him. I want to wait till I have a more, a more powerful uh, creature on the board to play him. One, two, three, four, five. So one more, and I'll be able to bring my inferno in there you go see I can kill him 
Another card in the graveyard is put into your hand. Conjure a duplicate of that card into your hand. Alright, so let's see what we've got going on. Arming Gal, I think, is the way to go. I'm going to go. Let's see what we draw. Well played, dude. Well played. Five. Yeah, I don't think I can win because he's got those two. He'll be able to cat go take three turns. Nice. All right, so bring this in. She will then get a plus one, plus one, and everything everywhere in my graveyard except my exile. But in my graveyard, in my hand, in my library, everything gets plus one, plus one. Yep, so he's going to take two more turns after this. He does four, eight, yes, that's, that's it. So we'll play one more. That Prismatic Omen is really nice, but uh, just wasn't. Go. A little too slow on the uptake. I have seven minutes. I don't think my daughter is going to be ready to walk out the door. So I'm going to do one quick avalanche. I'm excited. This is a good opening hand. Nice. Not perfect, but it's good. He has a smaller deck size, so that'll be nice because um, that's cool. Uh, I own her. I'm going to. I want to have a blue, so we're going to bring him in. I don't have. Comes and tapped unless I have an island or a forest. He's green, but he's not a forest. Alright, bring in the crab. Then we will bring in our forest. Then we will bring in him. So we'll cast him, which lets me pull a land. I don't have any... I do have a plains. I don't have a mountain right now. Well, that will be a mountain. So I have all four I need. So... I think I'll just get a forest. Just make sure I don't, I'm not missing anything. Mountain, plains, islands. Yeah, I'll just get another forest. Just because... And that gives me a food token as well. No blocks, because he did a little one damage to me. What was that? Melt through. Okay. Holy snikes, that's a crazy card. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw down this one so we can get our fearless fledgling in next turn. Um, I don't care about the tokens, so let's go ahead and 
Get some life back. No attacks. And his little fox, click him. And he likes it when you click him. He likes it when you click him. Boo, he killed my crab. That's right, because I'm bringing in my fledgling next. And he comes in. He gains flying each turn I bring in a land. But he progressively gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. So let's start with... None of these other guys are landfalls, so it doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and bring in our... He can't attack this turn, so I don't care. Gives him a 2-2. Two, two, makes him a 2-2. Two, two. This is going to let me bring in a land card. This is going to let me bring in a land card. So I am going to go ahead and boost him up because I don't trust him. I don't like Blub's face. Two two dance. That's right. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, so now things are going to get a little c -c -c crazy Put this in. Use it to activate his ability. I'm going to go ahead and bring in another... Mountain or plains? Mountain or plains? Uh, let's go... Or island. We'll do mountain. So that's a second land that comes in. He gets boosted up to five. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. Which lets me find two forests, put them in my hand. Five damage, boom. Next turn, I'm gonna do my giant because I killed my my enchantment. That's rude. For oh, one, wow. Good find, dude. Good find. All right, are you considered an an, an island? No, you're not. All right. We'll go ahead and bring him in. And we'll go ahead and activate and hit the giants. So he'll he'll hit me for six, for some more damage. I'm gonna do a basic land card. Throw this island on there. He'll hit me, bring me down to six. I'm going to wait to cast this with the, the kicker. Go to combat. Attack for seven. So 
So he's going to hit me for six. But then I'll be able to bring in my giant. So that will protect me from next time. What does this do? Search your library for a basic land. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shuffle. Okay. And proliferate. Nice. I'll give him a plus one, plus one. Alright, so. Start with Giant Boy. His strength and defense is based on the number of lands I have. We will bring in our forest. We will then search my lock card. Oh, I get to do one or the other, huh? I'll proliferate. That's fine. Since I can't kill him and he will kill me, I am not going to attack. Next turn, I will be able to kill him. If he doesn't kill me now. So, because I'll be able to put my bird in the air. And he's going to get plus one, plus one, and a plus one, plus one. We'll put down our doubling token. Doubling season. We will then throw down our island, which puts him at 11, and then we'll put him down, which says we put two more, which will put him at 14. You ready? Two minutes. Assuming this guy doesn't just waste time. There's another forest and a mountain. I was going to try to kick it, but the doubling season is better. And there we go. Just like that, a little birdie. Who would have thought? My little bird would kick his butt. I didn't, but hey, so why I have it. So thanks for hanging out with me, Atomic. I appreciate you. Um, Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're calling it a day. Come back tonight. Pacific time, 7 o'clock. We'll be doing some Ds and the other Ds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, whatever else you do. Enjoy the rest of your day.